You made it. Welcome back, everybody. Hope you guys are having a beautiful day. What do you know? The testing grounds has released, and we have the Shaolin rework and the Shaolin, I mean, Conquer rework. I said both of them at the same time. With these reworks, they will be available to play and uh, test them out for as long as you can. I have been playing a lot of Conquer and Shaolin recently since it's dropped, and I'm going to show you some of the clips in the background, but I'm going to pretty much tell you guys my thoughts on what is going on here and discuss what I think about them as I've done in the previous videos, but now that I've actually played them, I can give you my expertise input. So let's just quickly dive on in with the Conqueror rework. Now, if you guys have played him, he doesn't have undodgeable heavies anymore, and that significantly makes him weaker. Um, however, they did speed up his bash, well they kept it back to what it was before, which is 100 ms into the dodge, which makes it, you know, a viable opener still, so he still has good OS pressure, and they also removed his chain heavy finisher unblockable, so he doesn't have any unblockable pressure within his chain mix up anymore, the only unblockable he has is within his bash, so it becomes a light bash hero or a heavy bash hero, and this is still really strong because you have to buffer the dodge, it is I believe it is probably 500 and it's incredibly fast. You won't be able to um, dodge it on reaction. You literally have to spam your button. At least that's what I have to do. So it's still incredibly fast and you will be able to, you know, dodge out of it uh, as long as you buffer it. But if you don't buffer it, you're going to get hit by it because it's really fast, like I said before. And the only other mix up potential that he has after doing the bash is going to heavy faint into a GB. That's if he catches you doing an empty dodge or trying to dodge it on prediction, which is going to be very helpful for him. However, there's heroes that have dodge attacks that will cancel our option select your heavy into GB after or if, if you decide to not do the bash attack. And so this makes him a little bit weaker in that regard because beforehand with the undodgeable, he could just essentially throw it out willy nilly and catch people who do dodge attacks. However, I don't think it matters too much. It does make him weaker in pure chain offense, but he still has a clutch potential with his kit, his full block will be able to cancel after a bash and a missed heavy attack if the heavy does not track the dodge attack, which in most cases it won't because most dodge attacks have iframes now. So as you know, the recovery cancel for Conqueror with his full block can pretty much be initiated after every single attack, a light attack, a heavy attack, and also a dodge forward. So essentially after everything you do, you want to cancel that to, you know, increase the possibility of a hero doing a dodge attack for you to land into your full block. So with his chain bash, Conqueror will be able to, you know, initiate tons of offensive pressure because you will have to make a read and try to dodge it. But the thing is, most heroes with slow dodge attacks will be able to get punished from the bash because Conqueror is able to full block his recoveries after a missed bash, making him a lot more safer when it comes to the 4v4 aspect and also 1v1. Now I did some testing here, Berserker, heroes that have the same speed as Berserkers, they won't be able to punish him even if you dodge buffer on a read and try to punish him Conqueror and, and also at the same time I am also buffering my full block because it will be a read on your end if you try to use the full block and anticipate someone going for a dodge attack. Also test it with Zanhu and you'll see that Shaolin or heroes that have very slow dodge attacks like Shaolin or Kensei or even Valkyrie, um, you will be able to, wait I think Valkyrie has a fast dodge attack, but you will be able to get punished if you decide for go a dodge attack because we want the bash to be, you know, good offense so it has to be safe in some regard. So the heroes that have delayable dodge attacks or very slow dodge attacks where you're not able to read the animation as well, these are the heroes that you have to be careful when you're trying to go for a full block because you will get punished if you decide to use the full block. So I mean in most regards it's probably better to not use it but then again a lot of people are dodge happy and want to try to punish you in the first place so it will be a read on both ends and that is quite fun if I do say so myself to an extent. However, it's going to be very annoying if you're using a hero that actually doesn't have viable pressure compared to Conquer because his defensive pressure, I mean his defensive game is incredibly good and now that he has, he actually has good chain pressure, it means he's going to be uh, quite a hero that you have to um, make a ton of reads on to actually win the game. And that's essentially all there is to Conk's rework. Uh, we've already discussed it plenty of times in other videos. And the main thing is, is that, you know, he doesn't have the chain lights anymore, the infinite chain lights, which is, I think it's a real bummer. And I don't really think it was a necessary change. Uh, it makes him feel a lot more limited in his kit. 
Although he has more chain pressure, which is fantastic, and his animations, they don't look that bad. I just think it was an unnecessary change to his kit as, you know, they already balanced around for the, uh, you know, the top players anyways, and the light spam was never really an issue. However, I understand that, uh, you know, for the old gen console players, it is going to be quite a hassle to deal with. The new gens probably, I, I can guarantee they can block uh, the chain lights on Conqueror. Um, so they're just trying to, you know, kill two birds with one stone. I understand what their uh, point was. However, I think making him, you know, have not have any chains after the second light, it feels very weird because we used to be able to throw chains out like that. Um, on PC, I don't think it was, you know, that helpful. It would help from time to time with certain mix-ups, especially since he had the infinite heavy chains now. But, uh, you know, you can only you can only take what you can get. And so now we've started talking about the bad things about the rework. Most of the things that I've talked about beforehand are good things as he actually gets uh, initial chain pressure for, you know, enemies to actually, you know, be scared of him instead of just being scared of the bash. But right now he loses his unblockable chain heavy finisher. And I really think that was unique to him because no heroes had the charged heavy unblockable attack like he does where you he what, what do you call it like you while it up uh, I, I forgot what the word is the box is having a brain fart where you string it up i don't know what the word is called but like he twirls it around that's such a badass it, 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 like shinobis shinobi had that animation and they kind of got rid of it which is a, a real real bummer to him it makes him more viable but he, him having that unblockable chain heavy finisher really made him a strong hero and it gave him other tools to deal damage. But right now it's just going to be light into bash and essentially just revolve around your bash mix up and heavy into faint GB mix up, which I am all for. I just want him to have a little bit more variability within his mix ups because I like using different moves. There's also a few changes that I would like Conquer to get to make him, you know, actually make him feel normal and standardized because like I said the zone attack the zone attack is 600 ms with no properties to it no range no huge hitbox compared to heroes like Shigoki like Shigoki heroes that have 600 ms zone attacks either have to be undodgeable have hyper armor have huge hitboxes Conqueror doesn't have any of those it's a very small hitbox and also you can't continue your chain anymore with the same revolving animation which you used to do with the flail that is uh, non-existent anymore. He can only, which is nice. The good thing is that he can continue his chain with a heavy attack or a light attack, which is great. However, the zone attack in itself becomes kind of useless unless you really want to use it as a really slow option select, but you're kind of just better off using a light attack. But then again, it's a zone attack, which is a heavy attack. And of course people want to, you know, that's a safer option than using a light attack. Cause if you get parried, it's a fighter MS uh, light attack is a little bit safer but the 601 you're always going to get parried in the first place it is less startup and all that good stuff however they need to just bring it up to 500 ms because it's a very slow attack and it has it holds no real value within his kit and there's no synergy going on so i think that's the first thing i would like changed about conquer and the next thing is of course is that i would like actually like him to not be able to press full block as much i don't know i feel like it's a little bit too strong being able to cancel out of every single attack i feel like he just turns into another armusha a hero that can be very annoying to deal with in 4v4 because he's a very hard hero to punish and i think with this kit that he has right now it's gonna skyrocket him up into s tiers and make him a very difficult hero to fight against armusha is a very difficult hero to fight against um unreactable bash deadly faints are unreactable as well and he has tons of high damage punishes with his blockade and his heavy finishers and just chain heavy attacks. So he's got a lot going for him. And I think with this, Conqueror is going to be another top tier hero with the full block being uh, one of the more annoying tools to deal with. Unless, of course, you are a comp team who can coordinate every single thing. And then the next thing is giving him is maybe his infinite chain back because I kind of like having that. It's a really small thing. I don't really care if he doesn't get it back. However, the most important thing is actually trying to figure out his unblockable chain heavy finisher. I think that would be really good for his kit and complete his kit entirely because right now he kind of feels dull in comparison without the undodgeable heavies. And I'm not saying he's str he's not strong because he actually definitely really is and can be very annoying to deal with, especially in 4v4 or if you're using a weak hero. But having that unblockable heavy attack is really good for OS pressure instead of just going for your bashes all the time, which is what he's been revolved around with this entire kit now that he has no undodgeable and now that he has no unblockable except from you know neutral where he charges it up so with this entire rework i think he's an incredibly strong hero right now but i also kind of feel that he's a very 
dull hero in comparison when it comes to the rebreak that Shaolin got. I think Shaolin got very nice cool changes. But of course with good changes, there's also bad changes that I feel Ubisoft has made with this. One step forward, two steps back, and that sort of thing. Maybe just one step forward, one step back. Um, let's just talk about good things with Shaolin. Right now, forward, I mean the enhanced light attack on the top. Fantastic. It lets him get into his cheese stance mix-up, which is the most powerful thing about his kit, and it's actually really unique to him, because most heroes, actually no heroes have this type of utility, where you're able to emote out of your, <laughs> your freaking cheese stance, which is awesome. Well, actually Highlander has it, but Highlander can wave dash and um, dick around where Shaolin is staying in place, acting like a total chat. However, the mix-up in itself is great on dodgeable heavies, on everything. A lot of people complained about the uh, unblockable heavy being missed, and I also think they should change that, which is one of the changes that I think Shaolin desperately needs. I don't think that he desperately needs it, but I just want some different variability within his chi stance. And I also understand the argument of keeping your guard on a certain side so the undodgeable doesn't hit you when you do dodge. Some heroes don't switch guards when they dodge, so that's helpful against Shaolin. But I still want the unblockable for some OS parries that people will try to go for. And also being able to use the unblockable during gank settings, because if someone does a block stun, my unblockable heavy will go through instead of just having the undodgeable, which doesn't really guarantee anything besides chip damage. Uh, heroes like, like Conqueror or Kensei who actually dodge into certain attacks and can get away with it and just use superior block, that's the heroes that Shaolin have the most problem against. Now, I did a ton of matches Shaolin against Conqueror and a good Conquerors, wow, they, they kind of just shut Shaolin down in the first place and Shaolin still remains a very skill-based hero because he doesn't have bash spam to an extent when it comes to neutral pressure because light attacks and heavy attacks and dodging and deflecting will be his core kit. Uh, you'll have to use the top light sparingly. It'll be very helpful now since you don't just block off. You'll have some frame advantage here and there. And other players are incentivized to pair your top light because if they don't, you'll get into your cheese stance mix up. And with your sweep, which we're going to talk about next, is going to be incredibly good because it guarantees you a really nice heavy attack that gets you into your chain and all that good stuff. Now the sweep is punishable if you do dodge it so you can get a GP off of it. So it's going to have to be used sparingly. I'm a little bit surprised that it is punishable because it only guarantees a heavy attack and you get into your chain just like every other attack. So I'm surprised it doesn't act like Valkyrie sweep where you know you don't get punished unless they have a dodge attack and so it's really a bit weird you can still feign it though which is the good thing and it's a little bit slow though I, I don't think it's that fast so if you do see the orange you might as well you know kind of just dodge it but I think we'll have to do a little bit more testing more play time with him get used to it see how strong it is but right now I think the sweep is strong because you can f you can um, you can feign it and it also deals a ton of damage great for ganks because people you can just target swap and set up tons of damage with your teammates for heavies and light attacks to land. Absolutely, really, really fantastic change. Because um, that's the same way you'd play Valkyrie. And it's really awesome to uh, have that sort of play style with Shaolin now. Because beforehand, he was just, you know, just chill in cheese stance, use the crushing counters, and use the undodgeable or unblockable and spam indicators. His crushing counters are much faster now, and his ability to dodge out of Chi stance, oh, fantastic change. I'm so glad they did that. It took so long for them to do that. Frankly, I also want him, as I said before, I want him to be able to cancel out of that as quickly as Highlander, go for a GB in case people want to dodge early, just to give him, for, give him more variability when it comes to actually uh, initiating different forms of offense, because otherwise people are just gonna dodge on reaction or just dodge on prediction within his kick and you're gonna get baited off for that and you only have the crushing counters that can fall up into a sweep so if they dodge and try to gbu on prediction they will get hit with the sweep because you can continue your chain after your chi stance attacks which is mighty mighty helpful and with that that's pretty much it for you know the, the pros of his rework overall a really good change there are a few things that i want to discuss that i think need to be adjusted or changed his zone attack his zone attack is incredibly slow. His first zone attack, I feel like it's fine because it is 500 MS. However, his chain heavy attacks, wow, his chain zone attacks, they look really bad. They, I don't know why they decided that it would be, they would want another Highlander zone. Who thought that would be a good idea? Dudes, do people play Shaolin? Do people play Highlander? Do the devs actually play for honor? Do they play? Because this is, I don't think this is okay. This is a really bad change. And I think they need to either change it to 600 chain heavy attacks or make them all 500. Maybe maybe not 500 because 500 was what it was beforehand, but make it 600 MS. Because right now it feels very, <laughs> it looks bad. And there's at the end, there's like a, this white twirl, 
twirl effect that looks atrocious when it comes to you know the when it comes to the aesthetics of for honor it just it just doesn't fit for honor in my opinion and it looks really bad they need to change it um and make it so that he can also get into his chi stance by doing his own attack because most heroes that do zone attacks these days are able to get into their mix-up and get into their chain mix-up so i think that'd be very helpful if they're able to do that and i mean after that really there's nothing bad about the Shaolin rework overall everything has been I think positively received I think a lot of the comments down below that I've seen in the past videos with Shaolin a lot of people agree that this is a really good rework that doesn't make him into you know a brainless <laughs> button smashing hero now and I really like that I hope that they continue this with future reworks with Valkyrie, Jormungandr, and Lawbringer like don't add too much stuff just add the right amount we don't need to go crazy with chain pressure and all this mumbo jumbo that pirate has gosh i hate pirate anyways that's about it please let me know your thoughts on shao rin and conqueror's rework i really think overall um Sh conquer is going to be incredibly strong with his chain pressure and his defensive capabilities and might i, I kind of think he also needs a little bit of tweaking too because he literally has it all with his uh, forward dodge bash and uh, superior block dodges um, and it's essentially basically Armrisha 2.0. With Shaolin, he feels still a skill-based hero, and he's going to still be very hard to use, in my opinion. You're not going to be able just to do whatever the heck you want and throw lights and heavies uh, willy-nilly, because people will try to pair you, you know. Well, they've been pairing you all the time, but now you can mix them up with certain heavy attacks, and that's going to be awesome in that regard. And I think Shaolin's rework is great. They just need a few changes with his zone attack and maybe give his unblockable top heavy back. So he's kind of useful in that regard. But otherwise, everybody's chain pressure is insane. And I think the devs really, they hit, they hit a home run with these reworks. I'm really glad and I'm happy about it. I've been playing For Honor a shit ton. I'm telling you guys, I've been playing For Honor at like 1 a.m. to like freaking 4 a.m. I have, I have serious problems. I told you guys before, I've been playing it and I just... I need to chill out. I need to chill. Out. I need to work on these videos, guys. Okay, Elden Ring coming out. Uh, really, really appreciate you guys uh, enjoying and watching the video. Also, a uh, Shaolin's heavy attack, chain heavy heavy attacks. They have been increased in speed. They're much slower now, and I don't. I think this could be a good thing and a bad thing, but they're very, very slow. Like people who try to crush and counter you now, they're they're not going to get the timings right. And so the slow ass heavies can help you if the trajectory and the hitboxes is good with it then i'm fine with it but it was fine before and i don't know why they decided to decrease it i don't know because it doesn't have hyper armor or it doesn't have um undodgeable properties or heavy finisher properties some people also asked for heavy finisher for his chain heavy attacks and i think that's an interesting idea uh, it could be, it could be done, it could be done, maybe, 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 baby, maybe, baby, but overall, like I said, let me know your thoughts down below on the Shaolin rework, a lot of people are enjoying it, and I'm just really happy about Ferrari, I'm enjoying it a lot, hope you guys are as well, please let me know what your thoughts are, and hope to see you guys soon, bye bye, see you later.